I'm Toby Lee and I'm here today trying out the new Blackstar Silverline Deluxe and I've created a patch which is called the Toby Lee patch and it's it's quite amazing because this amp, I, it's hard to explain, it's like having a valve amp right here except it doesn't take that long to warm up um, at all because it doesn't have any valves but it feels like a valve amp to me and it sounds like a valve amp which I don't quite understand how they've done it but to me it's absolutely amazing. that I've created, I've tried to recreate um, the sound that I can get of my HD20 which I've had for the last few months now. So I've set my response knob to the EL84 because that's what um, valves my uh, HD20 uses and it's kind of got a more a springier, bouncy kind of response to your playing which is really really awesome and I, I love that. As far as gain goes I haven't done too much because um, what I do with my HT20. I don't really use too much because this guitar is quite quite gainy itself. On any other guitar I'd probably put it about there but I, I, li I like it around there because it's, it's perfect to me. Bass wise I'd never need too much bass because it's quite a basic guitar. It's, it's quite a guitar based patch for, for my, my kind of personal preference. Um, as far as treble goes it's kind of it's as close as I can get it to my HT20, so I haven't put too much in. The ISF is pretty much exactly the same, maybe a little bit more, um, just based on, because it's a, a different amp. Um, and I've put, obviously because I love the reverb, I've put quite a lot of reverb on it, um, and put the level of the reverb up quite high. And um, yeah, I've got the presence on kind of, yeah, not, not too much, but not too less either. Uh, but that's, that's as close as I can get it, and to me, I think it's very, very close. And I, I don't know how they've made it sound like a, a valve amp and feel like a valve amp, but it really does. So um, this is it at, say, a, a two. So this is like clean as I can um, get it, which is very quite clean, but this is it. So that's on like a two. If I move it up to say a four and a half, I get a bit more crunch out of it. So that's at your kind of four and a half mark. If I get it up to like a six and a half, I get a bit more of a distortion kind of sound, and this is it. And then if I take it up to a 10, I've got my lovely distortion sound that I've tried to replicate the sound of my HD20 on the silver line. That's the capability of this absolutely amazing Silverline Deluxe. <laughs>